Feller was telling me the dog at Emerald Ranch don't leave the house no more. Been locked in up there for a couple years now. Boy, that's really interesting. Far more interesting than the fact there's a gunfight outside. Thank you, random shopkeeping NPC, for completely ignoring the fact there are bullets flying outside your frickin' shop. Here, sweet lord. Anyway, how's it going, Radical viewers? Grim Gaddy right back into another Grim Pick. And because of uh, the multitude of milestones and achievements and mountains we have climbed on this channel from hitting 6,000 subs, you guys are freaking amazing, by the way. Holy crap. Did not expect that to happen at all, to be frank. I figured I was going to stagnate at 5K. Hitting the 200th episode of Legends of the West, another thing I figured was going to die off a lot sooner. Or at all. Which it still hasn't. My apologies. The gunfight is distracting. Why'd I come to time? I decided to do kind of a breakdown. Well, not so much of a breakdown, but my thought process between my three favorite outfits. These are the three outfits I constantly go back to when I play Red Dead Online to any great length that's not just doing a video. And that is, well, let's start off with my first one the Charlie Prince outfit. Now, when I originally made this outfit, this wasn't requested. This actually was back when I was just trying to personally come up with ideas for outfits to do myself to put on the channel. And frankly, 310 to Yuma, still one of my favorite more modern made westerns, and Charlie Prince, frankly, is still one of my favorite characters from that movie. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Russell Crowe in that, and Christian Bale's character has moments, I guess? Yeah, sort of. Honestly, Ben Wade really outshines him in that movie. But Charlie Prince just, like, resonated with me. He resonated with those wonderful, darker moments of my thought process where I'm pretty sure everyone knows what I'm talking about when I say, you know, it's, it's those thoughts that you usually don't even admit to having, but you have them anyway. You know, the ones that everyone has? Yeah, those. He kind of resonates with me on that kind of level, only instead of quietly shunting into a corner, he just well, he just shoots somebody and calls it a day. I hate posses. <laughs> Early Prince, dear sweet lord. And that's how that outfit video came to be. The next one, however, my other favorite, Stylus Frickin' Greaves from Call of Juarez Gunslinger. I am not going to lie. I had that outfit done before it even won a request. I was working on that outfit night and freaking day sometimes and when i say that i mean trying to earn that bloody poncho by playing grand theft auto 5 and collecting all those freaking cards for the diamond casino heist update oh dear sweet lord i hated doing that but my god was it worth it because god dang that poncho really sells the look overall it, it really does i mean that's earned a spot in my heart because number one i love the call juarez series Except for Cartel. We we don't acknowledge Cartel existed. Cartel wasn't a thing. No, that, that they stopped at Bound in Blood for some reason, despite the fact Bound in Blood was pretty decent. And then they made Gunslinger because they were having financial troubles, and that's what we came up with, that's what they made, and god dang if it wasn't fun as all heck. And honestly, for a modern Western game, don't lie, it's pretty solid. It's pretty solid as a first person shooter. And I just love Silas grieves as a character. He's freaking glorious. And his outfit is fantastic because it kind of calls back to the days when I had a deeper appreciation for the more worn, torn, faded, traveled looks. I kind of uh, constantly promoted on this channel for I don't know how freaking long. Yeah. But that all aside, it's Wednesday. I have to do an outfit. Therefore, we are going to do my own personal outfit this is one i came up with myself it does draw heavy inspiration from characters such as doc holiday and ace i can't remember what the hell his last name is from the quick and the dead the doc holiday one's mostly from tombstone though i gotta admit i it looks like i took inspiration from Wyatt Earp's revenge on this i'm not even gonna lie and also fair warning of quite a bit of this outfit or at least Dude. At least two pieces of it, sadly, were limited time events, so hopefully they'll come back. I doubt it, because I still have yet to see the frickin' Owen Gila hat come back. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna go into the wardrobe now and pray to God I don't hear all the gunfire and explosions and stuff now. And finally, let's break down what is probably my final version of my own personal outfit, at least until the next update. Piece by piece, shall we? Starting off with the hat. Which I'm not gonna lie, I constantly thought this said Rexford. I am wrong, it says Rex Road. I don't know why that confuses me to such a degree. It does, but it does. Another fun fact. Every single small piece of this hat by itself, I hate. I hate the crown. I hate the band that's got these little decorations on it. I hate the way the brim is shaped. I hate the decoration on the brim. But when you combine it all together, this freaking hat's gorgeous. It's, it, it befuddles me. It, it, it screws in my head how much I hate every little piece of this hat, but I love it when it's all combined together. It's like an echidna. It's ugly as sin, but I want to pet it. An echidna is a bad analogy. Maybe a pug? I don't know. I don't know what a good analogy for that would be. Anyway, that, that's the hat. And of course, you get that from, if I'm not mistaken... Oh, it was one of the earlier outlaw passes, and I can't remember which one it was. Sadly, it, it's from the outlaw pass you get, uh, yeah, this outfit from. I sadly can't remember what the bloody hell outlaw pass it was. So, fairly solid chance you probably have the outfit if you got the outlaw pass at least once, or if you're dedicated like uh, me and my friends were, all of them. Moving on before I jabber on more. The eyewear. The Bell Court Tinted Spectacles. Why? Because frankly, I, I'm, I, I can only think of one possible outfit that I might end up doing in the future at some point in time where I would even think about using these damn things. But beyond that, nah, I, 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 can't, I can't think of anything. So I, I like them and I want to use them. So I used them for my own personal outfit, knowing that someone's going to request it and it's going to win. I'm going to have to do it eventually. I just jumped the gun and made it the grim pick. No mask with this outfit, no bandanas for neckwear. Hey, look at that. My personal favorite, the puff tie. And the beautiful silken red. I love this thing. I don't even know really why I love this thing compared to... I mean, for one thing, it probably doesn't clip nearly as badly as the rest of them, starting off. It looks a lot finer and goes with the rest of the finer of this outfit. Uh, yeah, it definitely doesn't clip as badly as like any of this, and, and I, I like the shine to it. I just like it. Sh I like shiny for this outfit. Buff necktie in red for the coat. Sadly, this was a limited time thing, so sadly, unless you already bought the dang thing, you probably aren't gonna have access to it unless they bring it back. Which, as I mentioned before, I've got to see the Owen Gila hat come back, so it probably is not. So my apologies, but the morning tail coat, I love it. I love the black version. I, I really do. I love the little knickknacks on it. I love the extra detail put into it. It is a gorgeous coat. I love it. I don't know why the hell its other variants aren't as cool looking. Like, this is the standard red variant. Look look at the solid difference. I mean, yeah, it's made out of cloth instead of leather. The lining still looks like it's kind of a silken texture, but the rest of it is just like, okay, what happened to the stuff on the lapels? What happened to the cuffs? Like, what, what the hell? It, it's weird. But I could definitely appreciate how fine that looks. No ponchos, obviously. For the vest, I'm pretty sure this one's still available. At least I really hope it is, otherwise I'm making an ass out of myself. The Cardozo vest. Because, as you might notice from this outfit, I like red and black. And it comes in two different shades of red. One which is dark enough to almost be mistaken for black in the right light. Also scorpions, which I really dig for gunslingers for some reason. A personal take. I, I like scorpions like emblazoned on something a gunslinger is wearing. Like the rattlesnake on the man with no name's gun. Freaking Red Harlow's hand which is a scorpion and his gun he gets back. Well his father's gun that he gets back. I'm rambling again. My apologies. Scorpions. And I like it because it's a nice callback to what got me into Red Dead which is Red Dead Revolver. Look at all the shirts. Easy enough. French dress shirt. Just just the plain one. Just the plain white French dress shirt. I, I got nothing else for that. I both love and hate the other variations of the French dress shirt. I do kind of like the decorations it has, especially on the red and black one. But frankly, 
this looks stupidly modern and that bothers me for some reason it it really does i i literally don't like it for that reason i like a lot of the other variants of it other than they look faded and kind of old but yeah just the plain white french dress shirt no suspenders because number one we're not going to see them number two i hate even including them because more often than not they're not going to be seen anyway so no point no gauntlets for gloves the bullseye gloves which you can buy from now nazar after going through the bounty hunting levels i can't remember which level you get these from but i do know you have to spend a token on them which is a weird system rockstar came up with that's kind of pointless at the end of it all and we we're gonna want those in black but i'm not gonna lie the gray slash red combo even though you're not gonna see the red on it do also kind of work and they actually kind of match with the jacket just a hair bit more in the right light but no, solid black. Excellent. No rings with this outfit, no belts for buckles. Again, from the bounty hunter profession, from Madame Nazar, costing a pretty penny at some odd gold bars, we're going to get the Viper belt buckle, which I will show again. Ah, there it is. Yeah, this is the belt buckle I usually roll with in literally every outfit before I take off, just because I... I really like it. It goes with the entire gum belt ensemble and it just looks badass. Love it. Love it. Weapon equipment. Gunslinger, yet again. Gun belt and offhand are the Guerrero gun belt and offhand holster. In. I guess you would call that gold and dark maroon leather. Yeah. I love this gun belt and it looks so good in just about every version of it. It's freaking beautiful and I love it. I don't like how the navies sit holstered in it because that looks really wonky for some reason to me. Like, eh, personal weird thing though. No trinkets, no bandoliers, because frankly I, I don't see a point to bandolier on this outfit. It looks damn fine as it is. Pants! I, McCrum pants. You want a reason? I don't got one for you. I, I, I really don't. I just like these pants on this. I, I like the McCrum pants, probably because originally I had something with pinstripes on it. Uh, I'm trying... Was it the Bandito? It was... It was the band. Yeah, because originally it was the Bandito pants I was wearing, and I wanted them just because of the pinstripes. And it's part of the reason why I ended up adopting Chaps was because I... I love the pinstripes on these pants, but... They... I don't like the bell bottoms, so McCrum pants. They don't have pinstripes, but they got those nice creases down the pant leg. They, they sold me on that. The Alvarado chaps are a holdover from the last iteration of this outfit. I just really like these chaps, personally. That's literally my only reason. Honestly, they're about the only thing that really clashes with the outfit. I mean, they're faded, they're a little bit worn, but I kind of dig that prospect of it because it looks like I'm trying to protect the finer bits of this look with these chaps, which are taking the brunt of the damage and everything else. Not that it's going to save me from getting a bullet hole in my freaking leg or my chest, but eh, that's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. Moving on to the boots. The Austin boots in black with the silver studs. I'm not going to lie. I really wish this, the gray on this was darker. It probably would have sold me a lot harder, but sadly it's not, and it looks dumb in most light, so pure black with steel studs. Finally, for the Spurs, my favorite spur in the game is the Vakura Baroque Spurs. Why? Because they're freaking huge and it looks like you can kill someone when you roundhouse kick a bitch. And it comes in red and black, which I, I really appreciate. Also, for God's sakes, I'm running around with dueling two navies, the largest freaking gun, handgun in the game. I, I scream compensation. And I'll say that's it. And as usual, I hope you all enjoyed. And if you all did enjoy, a great way of showing that support, as always, is by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and you know, sharing it with your friends. And of course, while I am, again, I preach this every time, not that anyone pays attention to it, because I still get requests and literally everything I have my name attached to. You guys freaking mind? Holy crap. God, they haven't shot my horse. I am... Be in the main store in town, people come to depend on you. What was I saying? Right. 
Don't take requests on the grim pics. I constantly say it, but people request on literally everything I post anyway, so it doesn't matter because no one pays attention to that. I am always open to suggestions. And if a suggestion pops up, you know, and really catches my attention, or I just have it memorized because I've seen it so often at this point, I'll make a video on it. Because why the heck not? <laughs> we forgot six. I might be at 6,000 subs, but thankfully I'm still small enough to where I actually do have a number you memorize by username. And your requests, oddly enough. It's weird how that works, strangely. Ugh. But enough of my rambling. I gotta figure out how the hell I'm gonna get out of Valentine in one piece. So, as usual, once again, thank you all for watching. And cheers to those that love us. The losers that lost us. And as always, the lucky sons of bitches that get to meet us. And we'll catch you all in the next video. Which is more of me and Big J screaming at Resident Evil 5 because it scares him and I can't help but laugh at the fact that it scares him because he's afraid of gators. I'm going to shut up now and stop the video because we're at 15 minutes. I'm going to get yelled at.